I'm Marty from Spring Ahead Media Solutions. I am a MailChimp Pro partner. And if you clicked on this video, it means that you have started a welcome series and it's not sending. So I'm going to walk you through how to troubleshoot that. If this video is helpful to you, please subscribe, give this a thumbs up, throw a thank you in the comments, and that will help other people find me as well. I put out videos all the time to help you with your email marketing. The first step in finding out why your welcome email isn't sending is actually to make sure that you are testing it properly. Um, the biggest problem that I see my clients running into when they're testing a welcome email is that they're using an email like their own email to test it that's already in their contacts. If you've already put your email into your contacts, you're not new, so the welcome email won't send. You have to use a brand new email address. So I already have a bunch of my emails in here. The trick is you can add a number to it. So I'm going to head over to my landing page. And what you can do is my normal email, info at springaheadmedia.com. You can actually add a plus and then a number. This will function in MailChimp as a totally new contact information, but it will also send emails directly to your regular info at email box. So this adding a number, a plus and a number here will allow you like unlimited tests of your welcome email. So I'm going to go ahead and subscribe there. You'll see I have 11 contacts. I'm going to refresh this. There we go. Now I have 12. So I know that that sign up form is working correctly. If you have been trying with email addresses that are already in here, what you can do is scroll over to the right. And you'll notice that there's a column for date added and a column for last changed. So this one was brand new today, right? And then sometimes you'll have an older one that was just updated today. And so that is why that one wasn't sending is because it was already in here. Okay, so now we know that one, the sign up form is working, the contacts are getting in here. Two, we've tested it with a brand new email address to make sure that they will get the welcome email because they're not already a contact that's been in here. What else could it be? If you have your MailChimp account set up to do a double opt-in for your email list, which I would recommend, that is where when someone signs up through a sign-up form, they'll get an email sent to them confirming that they want to be on the list. Let me show you what that looks like. So here is an example of that. They'll get an email confirming they want to subscribe. The welcome email will not send until they click this button because they're not yet a subscriber until they click this button. This is really great for making sure that you don't get a lot of spam signups through your sign up form and that people aren't signing up other people really confirms that the email list you have is good. Um, if you did want to do that, I suppose I'm getting off topic a bit, but you would go here to audience name and defaults and you would click that double opt in right there. You can also do the eCAPTCHA. All right, let's get back to that. So they have to do that in order to get your welcome email. If you are using MailChimp's customer journeys for your welcome email, which makes the most sense, MailChimp is slowly fading out their classic automations. You want to make sure that your uh, starting point is set up properly. So I'm just going to go here to edit, edit starting point. And our sign starting point will be signs up. This will go to anyone who signs up for your email list unless, and I'm going to click on this here, unless you are importing a list. If you are importing a list, importing a CSV file, and you want it to go to them also, then you would need to click this to include those. So if you just imported a list and it didn't send, that's why. Um, and now those folks are already on your list, so they're not going to go through here once you start it, we'll have to do that a different way. While we're here, you also can set up filters so that it sends only to a more specific portion of your audience. And if your filters are not set up properly, that could keep people out of the welcome email as well. One of the most common ones here is sign up source. So if you only want people who come in through your pop up form to get the welcome email, then you would select it this way or you could do before or after certain dates. So again, just make sure that your filters are kind of wide open in the way that you want for your welcome email to send. Another note about MailChimp's customer journey builder is that these immediate emails don't always send immediately, um, especially with this automation tool. It takes about three to five minutes sometimes. Also, it has been a known issue 
that if you do have the double opt-in set up where they have to click a button in order to be joined to your list, if they don't do that within a certain amount of time, this email will not send. So that could be the other problem you're running into, in which case you could set up a second automation for if they didn't open the previous one, then it will resend. I believe that covers all of the major reasons why your welcome email may not be sending. Um, if I've answered your question, go ahead and give a thumbs up. I'm going to keep talking just a little bit more um, to help you if it wasn't sending and now you want it to send. So if you have folks already on your list, but you want them to get this welcome email, we can set up a second starting point and we're going to do that with a tag. So we're going to say when someone gets added to the send welcome email tag, then they will also get this welcome email. And now you can go back into your audience and run a segment for anyone who hasn't gotten this or just click on anyone who hasn't gotten this, add the tag, send welcome email, and now this one will send. There we go. All right. Um, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below. If I answered your question, give me a thumbs up, follow, stuff like that. And I will link to other videos to help you out here. Have a good day.